I will tell you a very short story about Ghost Town, Glitch Art, and Dirty New Media. I want to begin today by acknowledging brokenness. Glitch Art acknowledges our brokenness, systemic imperfections, and technological failures. Dirty New Media embraces dirtiness of different kinds, such as digital compression errors and electronic disruptions in analog signal flows. Ghost Town, this work, combines these artistic approaches in a work of haunted media, dreaming of itself through appropriated footage 3D models and intentional glitches. Glitch art is popular worldwide, has become popularized. Um, for instance, last year I organized Paris's first glitch art festival in Paris, France. And there are currently over 50,000 members on the Glitch Artist Collective Facebook group. This is just one example of many Facebook groups and internet uh, communities which are committed to this type of artistic practice. So there are various widespread and active dynamic international communities committed <laughs> to glitch art theory practice. Just over a decade ago, in the early 2000s, I began to curate and organize events and exhibitions of this kind in Chicago and online on the internet for the unstable arts now known as glitch art. A bit before that, I began teaching these artistic theory practices and approaches, aesthetics, techniques, concepts, at the School of the Art Institute of Chicago, which is ranked the nation's most influential art school. So I have been working on developing these discourses and histories uh, exhibiting and publishing uh, in this field, in, in the field of media art histories, in the context of glitch and glitch art. Being from the nation state known as the United States of America, I come from a broken empire delusionally attached to arrogant fantasies of now long past primacies. <laughs> <笑>那現在才自己玩笑就是其實大美國主義在我們台灣或是全世界亞洲都有非常多這樣子花式的這種視覺展現方式 Glitches have become a kind of shorthand for those who live in perpetual states of brokenness at least partially in the context of the collapse of the American Empire. From 2001 to the present, the emergence and rise of popularity of glitch art parallels other collapses and crashes in the United States, the very contentious and disputed events of 9-11 in 2001 are one example of collapse, failure, and glitched or broken systems. Technologies are engines of instability that radically reconfigure landscapes. Technologies change rapidly, reconfiguring what we imagine to be possible, as well as creating new instabilities. The United States of America is a harsh, violent, and often unforgiving land. Like a ghost town from an old Western cowboy movie, the United States is haunted by two major unresolved traumas, the ongoing genocide of the First Nations and the industry of slavery. The profound violence of these events corresponds with the quote-unquote nation-building period of the United States, 
a historical period envisioned in the Western genre from which Ghost Town draws inspiration. This is some of the context of my work, Ghost Town in particular, a work of glitch art and dirty new media that attempts to acknowledge brokenness through these forms and contexts. Race relations are extreme in the United States. The Black Lives Matter movement brings attention to the fact that over 100 unarmed black people were murdered by the police in 2015 and about 30 more were murdered by mid-summer of 2016. Black Lives Matter, this state-sponsored violence against citizen populations is in the United States an expression of institutionalized racism which has a direct connection to the industry of slavery. The hashtag NoDAPL and the Stand with Standing Rock movement is the most recent profound organization of First Nations peoples organizing to stop the violent incursion of a corporate project called the Dakota Access Pipeline into and through the sovereign nations of Native American tribes. These are people who are um, <coughs> descendants, uh, uh, survivors, uh, basically, of um, the genocide uh, committed against the First Nations peoples. Uh, and as a um, connection to Taiwan, for example, uh, I believe there are 16 um, federally recognized First Nations uh, in Taiwan. Um, there are um, over 500, probably closer to 600 federally, or uh, there are 566 federally recognized First Nations in the United States, but there's well over 600 in the um, area of North America that the United States occupies. This is a very massive uh, uh, population, and the population is composed of survivors of 500 years of genocide. So the Western genre, or the cowboy movie, exists uh, at this place in these crossroads of the American imagination, uh, but also very much in the lived experience of the peoples of the United States. So that's a ghost town that is haunted, broken, glitched, and dirty. Xie Xie.